Do you wish you had the ability to send an individual link to a patient and allow them to book in directly with you at a time that's sensible and safe? Certain platforms allow this to happen generally, but not specifically with individual clinicians. Well, in this episode, we're going to show you how you can do that on System 1 directly and rather easily. This is a video provided by one of our eGP learners, Dr. Chris Metcalf from Riversdale Surgery in Belper, and he will show you exactly how you can set this up in your practice. One little piece of note, you probably need to be an administrative assistant one to actually set this up, but to use this, any clinician wants that's done. So let's go straight to this video provided by Dr. Chris Metcalf as we tech enhance your primary care and learning. Catch you in a sec. Hi, I'm going to see if I can do a quick demonstration for how to set up uh, your own um, personal uh, SMS invites so that patients can book in to use certain slot types for certain users, which is really helpful if you want to send a booking link for yourself for patients to come back and see you in particular. So there's kind of four steps. The first is to go to set up um, and set up a message for the communications annex so if you go to message preset maintenance um, and if we click new here we'll get uh, the options to make a new message so if i was to say put this in um, so if i call this uh, face to face test and if i say this is a face to face booking and then in the message if i say dear space and then if I use these two tabs over here I can I can enter particular details that it'll pull from the system so if I put dear patient uh, for name so that would be dear such and such comma uh, please use the link below to book a face to face appointment with me or by calling reception on and if I add the organization phone number and then I put regards doctor and then if I put my surname so uh, staff member surname so when I select this message later on it'll say dear patient surname and it'll it'll automatically add the phone number and the user's surname in there so I'm gonna I won't save that I've already got one made but let's say I save that step two is to go to um, set up again users and policy and then configured lists is what you need to do next and on the left here if you go to organization groups and then pick your surgery on the left and go down to appointments and then click on appointment invitation type there you need to make a new option which is specific to this invite type so if i click on new option this one's defaulted to riversdale the option type you need to select appointment invitation type and i'm going to call this uh, face to face uh, booking test and I click OK there. I can include it in the default configuration which makes it slightly easier to find so that's optional. Um, I won't save that, well I will save that for the moment. Um, so that will appear there. Now the next thing you need to do is go to setup users and policy and then go to organization preferences and on the left here you go down to patient appointment invitation and you click on the plus sign and you should be able to find using one of these options the one that we've just made so f2f booking test is there so if i click ok and then what i'm going to do is make this associate itself with um, certain appointment types so i'm going to restrict this to myself And it's going to be restricted to a certain slot type. So I'm going to say that it, I can only patients can only use face-to-face -face pre bookable appointments, and that's how that is populated. So that's step uh, three, and so far so good. And then the last bit is how do you get to that message? So um, my suggestion is if you add that to your toolbar as an organization or as a personal preference, so if you right click on your toolbar here, configure toolbar, and then if I put a new button and I search for invitation in the top there, so patient, send a patient an appointment invitation, it'll then give me the option at the top. So I won't do that because I've already got it, but let's say I've got uh, Mickey Mouse selected. 
I can now click on the little phone icon which I've made. So I'm going to say the appointment type is um, down here, face-to-face -face test. And then I'm going to get the communications annex up here. And I'm going to select the message that I made already. So in this case, it's face-to-face -face routine appointments, the one I, I made previously. So dear such and such, I'd like you to book a routine, a face-to-face -face appointment with me by using the link below. So that is how you make uh, specific appointment types and you can restrict them to certain users. You can obviously uh, expand that to do your flu clinics or nurse appointments if you've got um, particular types of appointments on the system it's also helpful for various other things so um, but this fills in the gap where Accurix can't restrict its invitation types to certain users if you do it this way you can use the system one setting for doing that uh, I hope that's helpful and that is how you set up individual booking links for your practice on System 1. If you want more information about how to use System 1 more effectively, do check out this video coming up right here. Alternately, there's probably some other stuff coming up right here that is definitely going to be appropriate for you to have a look at if you're interested in this topic.